Before I actually start this video, I just want to give a special shout out to those of you guys who purchased the decals. So Nate Stokes, shout out to you my guy. I don't know if I already said your name, but shout out to you. Jose Zamudio, shout out to you. Um, Dree Flores, shout out to you. Devoy Dixon, thank you so much for the large purchase. It's helping out so much. We're so close to purchasing the wraps, so shout out to you. And Alan Coach, shout out to you as well. Thank you guys so much. We're so close to purchasing the wrap for the car. I'm not gonna even talk about the color right now. Um, I don't know what happened last video, so we're not gonna talk about that right now. We'll talk about it down the road. But yeah, if you guys wanna support the channel, we're a little bit off to purchasing some wrap. So if you guys just want, if you guys want to check out the link down below, support the channel by purchasing some decals, you guys will be shot on the next video. Without further ado, let's cut it to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today, guys, we're gonna be taking the 335 down to BMW. We're gonna get some of the recalls done, so I can get that out of the way, so I can actually start doing some major modifications because you guys know BMW will not work on cars that are heavily modified. Mine's is pretty much stock, at, you know, as of now, but. It's not gonna be anywhere near stock in a couple months, but right now it's stock, so I wanna get all the recalls done. I wanna get that new airbag. The, main, the airbag is the main thing, and then the wiring harness and some other stuff for the 335 if they have it. So I'm gonna go drop it off and then head to school. So for those, for those of you guys who um, are new to the channel, yes, so I work on BMW content, um, but at the same time I attend college, so we're gonna go drop off the BMW. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning right now, and then we're gonna head down to school, probably get out of school, come home by 5 and try to get to BMW to pick up the car same day. If not, we'll pick it up the next day. But without further ado guys, let's go down to BMW and uh, drop off the 335. I normally don't end up making videos on the days that I go to school. What I do is, is that the days that I don't have school, which is like every other day, like Tuesdays I have school at night, so I usually vlog in the morning or do a video in the morning. Um, or if it's Thursday, I typically don't have school. So I normally make videos on those days, but today I wanna get the recall done, because you guys know me, I'm trying to the BMW 335 has been delayed, and it's not my fault. Just constant things keep popping up. So uh, I want to do the best that I can to get this thing ready to, uh, so I can make more content for y'all. But yeah, my brother's going to be taking my 330i. I'm going to take the 335 down to BMW, drop off the 335, and then uh, we're going to head out to school. I love this car, my God. My brother's getting his car right now. Oh, my rear defroster's working this car. My rear defroster doesn't work on my 330i. Interesting. All right, well, we're going to turn that off because I don't want that right now. And why is the AC on? That's freezing. It's the morning. We want the heater, if anything. All right, we're going to head out right now. I don't think my brother knows how to turn on the music on the, the other car, so he's not gonna. But uh, we'll, we'll turn on the music when we head over to school. This car, unfortunately, the radio doesn't work, so uh, I'm working on the radio, but you guys know the priorities are not there right now. I was actually working like for two weeks straight on the radio, and here's, you guys were like, are you, are you serious, Nor? You're working on the radio for two weeks, like. Robin? I saw all the Beamers, and I figured it's a little BMW group. I'm qualified, I got, yo, what the? <laughs> like, you guys, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. So my brother honks the horn at me, and uh, because he found a letter on his dash, um, or on my dash, that's my car. So um, he gets a letter right here. Um, I'll read it out to you guys when I actually park. But yeah, my brother just honked the horn at me. He's like, yo, pull over. Um, someone put a letter on your car. So I'll read it out to you guys when I actually get to BMW. But uh, this is cute. This is real cute. Beamer gang, beamer gang, beamer gang. We'll hit him up one of these days, but uh, today, as you guys know, we got a busy day. Got to drop off the 335, and uh, we got to head to school because uh, because apparently that's necessary in society to become successful. That's a bunch of BS, by the way, guys. I don't believe in none of that. The only reason I'm going to college is because my mommy um, will probably be very upset with me, and uh, I care about my mommy, so I'm trying to make her happy. So, in other words, um, wasting four years of my life. But anyways like if you guys agree. All right guys, my favorite part about this car is that you can literally put your hands right here and it locks the door is my favorite part. But yeah, guys, we're here at BMW. I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and do the recall and then head to school because you guys know, gotta get to school. So uh, yeah, catch you guys when we're probably gonna be out. I don't wanna record inside. Uh, I'll see if I can. Alright guys, so we're in the car right now. I just dropped off the, the car at BMW. It's right here actually, but um, the, I gave him the keys, signed the paperwork. I did the express. Oh dear. <laughs> just watch his camera. <laughs> um, I did the express drop off, which means that I don't have to wait for any of my main, because I, I, we usually talk to Chris or Dion here at B Nilo BMW. So instead of talking to them, 
we're just gonna go ahead and drop off the car um, cause we got school, so I told them, I was like, yo, can we just drop it off? I mean, we're, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not got time for this. They're like, yeah, of course. So they gave us some papers, we just signed it off, and then we gave them the keys, and that is a beautiful M4. Wow. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but, um, yeah. So anyways, um, before we actually head to school, I want to read a note that I saw on the windshield of my 330i. He says, I saw all your BMWs and I figured it's a little BMW group. I'm qualified. I got a two. He says, I'm qualified, like right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 2011 335i sedan. I'm building. I'm in a Yase BMW. I don't know what, what, what that means, but he's he has a BMW. Um, and he gave me his Instagram. So I might reach out to him, um, you know, say what's up, see what he has, um, you know. Maybe we could review his car, 2011 and 55, you know. Might as well check it out, you know. So we'll see. I'll catch you guys back at school, um, or probably after school when we head home. Probably gonna, I don't know, I either check back with you guys when I get to BMW, or if I grow a pair, then I might be able to uh, record at school if I have that kind of confidence on me. What a great life. It's every day, every day learning, every day putting in the hours, every day working harder than yesterday, every day believing it's going to come true. Every day believing it's going to come. Every day consistent. Heading down to Econ. Um, I don't know if you guys know Jacob Bardotti I made a video with. We might be seeing him in that class. So if we see him in that class, we'll say what's up. If not, we'll go to the next class. All right, guys, we're heading out of, what is this, Econ? Econ. Finally out of Econ. Now we're gonna get something to eat because we're starving. YM is just a cheap rising or run, right? 212 over uh, minus 32 over 100. Minus. I think math is like literally one of my least favorite subjects because it's so stupid boring. And then they pull out, they pull something out of nowhere and uh, I just start to not understand anything. Like it, it makes sense for one second and the next second they just pull out like an airplane and I'm just like, okay. Anyways, heading down to English and that should be my last class of the day. All right, guys, so we're finally heading out of school. I'm about to go pick up the BMW. They called me, they told me to finish with all the recalls, so really excited to pick her up. guys so we are super close to BMW right now um, they already gave me a call they told me that the recall is done they did the blower wiring harness and they did the what's it called they also oh man look at the lighting I'm so sorry they also did the airbag which is the main thing I wanted them to do um, so they got that done really happy about that uh, so we're gonna go pick it up I'm gonna go home and we'll see if I will extend this to like two days but uh We'll see. I just want to show you guys the airbag. I mean, oh my lord, I love getting the new airbags. That's something you guys always have to do. I mean, whether for safety or not, for aesthetics, it's it's pleasing. So, you know, get the airbag replaced just for that reason itself. Hi right, guys, we're here at BMW, Nilo BMW. Look at that beautiful M3. I don't know if that's an M2 or not. Huh? You want the M3? I'll take it. It's beautiful. Yeah. I can also see that wrapped uh, 5 Series over there. That's pretty clean. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead, go inside, get a little BMW, get my, get my, you know, my keys, and we're gonna go forth for the rest of these build boys. All right, guys, it's that much closer to getting wrapped. We got all the main things done, so that is that. 
All right, guys, so we are back home. We're ready to actually do some work. Yeah, I know, I just got the car back. We got the new airbag, we got the wiring harness. Now the car is, um, I did all the, you know, recalls, which means I, I don't have to feel bad doing performance mods and stuff like that because then I don't need to take it back to them and take all the mods off to do the recalls down the road. I did it now so I could do all my mods and do all that stuff without having to worry to take them off down the road. So I ain't gonna just end the video just like that, you know, getting the recalls done. That's kind of a pointless video. I mean, it is, I mean, I got I got stuff done, but at the same time, you guys wanna see more than that. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take out that steering wheel right there, um, take out the paddles and swap it out with the M3 wheel. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the M3 wheel and take this wheel and swap them out. I'm gonna keep these exact paddles on here. These are like the original paddles. These are the downshift, upshift on each side. The other one, a DCT paddles, which means left is downshift, right is upshift. Um, unfortunately, I did rewire those, so I soldered them or rewired them to fit the harness because they did a retrofit on that car. So that car is gonna still have DCT paddles, and this car is gonna have the just the regular paddles. But down the road, I will upgrade it to downshift, upshift. Uh, but as of now, I just want the F3 wheel in here because it, it has a new airbag and so it'll look really clean. And I'm I'm about to start dailying this right now. So so this is gonna be like my baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the steering wheel because that is like the prime thing. It's the first mod I did on the 330i. It's gonna have to be the first interior mod I'm gonna do for the, the 335i. I guess I already did. I guess I already wrapped the interior, but that's not considered a mod, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up and remove the steering wheel, the airbag, and everything. So you guys can see, brand new airbag, one of the best feelings. Now this steering wheel is super fugly. Uh, but yo, shout out to, who was the one that sent me this? Oh yeah, 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 Erlan gave me the steering wheel. So shout out to him, um, but before actually I just remember, before you actually start working on airbags guys, make sure you disconnect the battery, that's important. Just triple check everything's plugged in because taking out the airbag is not the easiest thing in the world. But anyways guys, this is looking killer. Uh, I'm going to start up the car. Oh, I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to go ahead and plug in the battery, start up the car, make sure that the paddles are working. That's what I did with the other car, paddles work. So, um... Normally it does that when you unplug the battery. If you unplug the battery and plug it back in, it does have that weird little delay. But uh, as you guys can see also, since I unplugged the battery, I don't have an airbag light, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in drive, shift. That one works. Now it works as well. So paddles are working. Thank the Lord. Steering wheel feels great. Brand new airbag. Um, yeah, so really happy with how today turned out. All right, guys. So I was actually going to end this video on a good note. And you guys are probably wondering, what? Well, what do you mean? What do you mean, Nor? Well. BMW, that's what I mean. So basically, I tried getting the the car down the driveway, right? And uh, as I'm driving it backwards, it just it just shut off. Yeah, it just shut off. So. I was super happy. I, I, I only enjoyed my steering wheel for about 0.5 seconds, about around there. Um, so I'm getting these codes. I'm getting fuel pump plausibility and DM. Let me let me let me just zoom in right there. These are the codes I'm getting right now: DMTL system error, Venos intake cold start, boost pressure control shutdown, fuel pump plausibility. So fuel pump plausibility has been there for a while. DT, DM, DMTL is the reason my service engine light keeps coming back on. Um, it's a little, it's a little pump, it's a little module back in behind the car. So I'm gonna order. I already ordered that module. I'm gonna replace that. No big deal. Um, they already fixed all the hoses, so now I just gotta fix that little pump. I mean that little module. But the Vanos intake cold start and the boost pressure control shutdown are two brand new codes in the car. Like as soon as I turn it on, you can hear it trying to stay on, but it just turns off. I'm trying to give it some gas. Oh dear, the microphone. And it just shuts right on off. So if you guys know what the hell is going on with this car, please let me know down in the comments. I wanted to end this video on a good note. I had a good day, you know, bringing you guys with school, bringing you guys, you know, through me going to BMW, getting the recalls done. They even washed my car for me. So I, you know, I was pretty happy overall. And then of course, working on cars, the day is always going to end up badly because. Um, just it's a BMW. So yeah, I got another problem up my sleeve. So now the car is not even drivable. But that means we're gonna have to do some more DIY, some maintenances. Um, can you, if you guys could just let me, I don't want to drag this out for any longer than it is. If you guys could just let me know what the hell is going on with my car, that'd be amazing for you guys that have 335s. I'm sure you guys can let me know. Some people on the forums are saying it's a fuel pump. Some people on the forums are telling me it's a van solenoid. You guys let me know. Without further ado, I love you guys so much. Uh, remember to stay humble, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.